Another day, another Warcraft 3 game, guys. And we have Night End going up versus Todd in this game. The rematch, so to say, from the last replay that we uploaded between the, the two of them. Night End on Echo Isles, starting on the left. Undead in red here. And Romantic Human, aka Todd, on the right side. Todd, actually the only human player that is currently in the top 10 on Northrend. Pretty successful stats for him too, but Knight and still holding on to that number 2 spot just behind Happy. Actually insane amount of games that he played. Very, very active right now, streaming a lot. Both of them actually do. I'm going to link the channels of both of them actually in the YouTube description, so if you want to check out the video, you can definitely do that. And while you're at it, also hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. There's going to be a lot more from those games in the future here. But yeah, Todd definitely very successful as a human. There's actually very few humans on the Northern ladder right now that are doing as well as he does. We still have, of course, Hawk. There's also Death Note Summer that has some really good games just lately. But outside of that, Night End and Happy very dominant at the top of the standings here. And Night End right now with an opening, um, with getting actually his graveyard in play as well. Starting things off with Alta into a Crypt and gets the very early hero out here. Can first of all, of course, try and uh, creep over here a little bit. Very aggressive harass against his opponent player would also work out for him. And we're, don't, we're seeing Todd going straight into that Archmage as the first hero now once again. He had a bit of a phase where he was very upset with Archmage as the first hero and started to play a lot of Alchemist first, which was actually very successful, interestingly enough. I think it was roughly a week where he focused mostly on playing Alchemist strategies, uh, very heavily also against Undead, and it was very successful. Problematic is, of course, that without having the Archmage, you don't have the Brilliance Aura, and if you head into any kind of rifle caster play, then you don't have a lot of mana available for your casters in the first place. So. Immediate road of necromancy for Todd. Uh, sorry, for <laughs> he would probably like that for uh, Night End and in right away the call. So the idea here just simply being okay as quickly as possible. Make sure that you get the item, get the creep, and then you can start on focusing to interrupt your opponent's pattern. Even dropping a second coil here, so really speeding up that process. Whereas Todd is already spreading a couple of farms out on the map. And that's a move that was actually really interesting when it first popped up back then in uh, the old days. And it's pretty simple. You have a structure that has 500, 500 easy hit points, has armor as well. And it really takes a bit of time to take those farms out. So it's an easy structure to put on the map in strategic positions. It gives you vision and you don't lose too much when an opponent is actually going to attack it. You can easily just replace it in your main base then. So one of the big advantages of having those scout farms on the map. And you see them oftentimes actually built on other maps where you have a goblin shop, for example, or where you have a, where you have a mercenary camp being built very close. So they have immediate access throughout the entire game through this to the structure and don't have to keep a unit around. So it's something that you see a lot. Death Knight now with the claws already starting to uh, be a bit aggressive with the attack and Todd trying for the expand here. Acolyte is scouting all of that, eats the ensnare though. Uh, that could be a water elemental that gets sniped any second right now if he wants the experience. Has a couple of coils available but tries to go for the units instead. So water elemental still safe here at least for the time being. And good attack by Todd actually against the Death Knight trying to keep him as low as he possibly can. Continuously focus on him with a few units and especially the Archmage. Very difficult for Todd to get anything done at this point in time. Skeletons are also right away focused, or for Nighten, my bad. Skeletons getting right away focused and giving more experience over to the Archmage, and yeah, still dancing around the Orgai Magi, that's the big one. Yeah, gets one call through, nicely done by Todd actually, stopping the attacks for just a bit, and nothing that Nighten can do about this. Claws of attack plus six, another great item to get more damage out with the Archmage. But the Death Knight still not on level 2, Knight and not getting a lot out of it. Todd probably very, very happy with that. Not losing any creep experience to his opponent, not losing anything to be honest, not even the water elemental taken down here by Knight and Knight was just trying to delay it for as long as he can, but couldn't do too much. So the switch into Fiends now on the side of the Undead player, straight tag into tier 2 of course, and already active on the side of the Marketplace, getting another claw, so double claws of attack for him. And that's going to be very important for the Lich in the long run here. Wants to make sure that the Lich is packing a punch with that Orb of Corruption and the uh, auto attacks. Whereas Todd is creeping again, gets the Tomb of Strength plus two. No experience tomb for him and still creep going on, which finally brings the Death Knight onto level two as well. As he's still trying to see if he can get a bit more damage in here. 
So nothing too crazy just happening in the game. Todd, of course, very interested to first of all make sure that he has a safe expansion. Knight and still working on a second hero, making sure that he gets an earlier slaughterhouse, not even waiting before he, not even waiting for the attack into tier three. See that a lot. We have an undead player committing to an early black citadel even before the slaughterhouse, just so he to get a very quick orb of corruption. But Todd now relying on two base mining already, which obviously delays his tech as well. So he's still sitting on the town hall here, goes into the lumber mill, but he's very active on the map with the force that he has out in the game to start creeping even more. Has boots of speed now, great item for him, first of all, to buy it away from uh, an opponent, but also to add later on to his second hero. If we're seeing a Mountain King, for example, very easy for him to just move in and out of fights, easy also for him to close the distance for another Stormbolt. Todd's still creeping here, gets a replenishment potion, but Nidens is just trying to be a bit aggressive with the fiends that he has. He's still suffering from the earlier attack though, like that Death Knight does not have a lot of hit points and the pressure that Todd built up there was great. Losing one peasant right now, heavily hinging on that arcane tower now to try and take down those, uh, yeah, those couple of summonings. More experience also for Todd now as well. And keep in mind, another quick attempt to go straight for another footman. Todd even kills it to make sure that there's no experience for the Death Knight. But a few units already on an intercept curse, trying to make sure that that Death Knight is not getting away with getting hit a few times here. And especially that damage item that we've seen on the Archmage and the Boots of Speed are now a fantastic tool for the human player to try and take down a couple of fiends, or at least put the pressure onto the Death Knight again. 33 supply for Nidant, Tot is sitting at 39, and by now obviously also teching into tier 2. Tier 3 tech, the same time for his opponent. Fiends still on the run down here against the Footman, but we're having at least that Lich starting to make an appearance in the game. So the Nova could actually be very, very annoying against the Footman right now, especially since there's also an additional rod of Necromancy now in the inventory. So Nidant immediately passing over the damage items, plus 12 now on that Lich, and Todd is trying to steal the experience away. Goes straight in, sees the Lich now, there comes the Nova, and the immediate focus onto the Footman. No defend on them, but nice and snare from the creeps. A little bit of help that Todd gets from minions, and down goes Fiend number one. Archmage closing in on level four already, actually, and even more damage output now against the uh, Death Knight, as we talked about earlier. The Claws of Attack plus six is helping out greatly to put the pressure onto the main hero of the Undead Army as Knight and retreats a Again, Todd sitting at a fair amount of gold now too, he has to be a bit careful with his lumber, but he's still just getting massive amounts of gold here from that expansion in the main base, double barracks by now and switching straight into Rifleman. Losing another Footman very likely down here, ah, good deny! Great last hit by Todd, making sure that he did a nice experience, another set of uh, critters also taken out here to make sure, again, that there is no use of the Rod of Necromancy, get those into play and still the harass. Trying to actually put some pressure onto those statues in particular in the background. That's gonna be making it much easier for him in the later game fights to take those down as well. Water Elemental getting rather low. Let's see if he can actually deny it. Currently doesn't really look like it. Tries to, but yeah, not this time. Footman about to go down, one falling. Deny attempts from Todd not always successful here, but every single time trying to make that work and uh, works more often than not for him. But here comes that tech now into tier 3. And that's of course going to be an orb of corruption for the Lich. And this is really where that guy becomes insanely difficult to deal with. Double Slaughterhouse, Destroyer tech as well. Main base for Todd. By now, what do we have as the second hero? See a lot of Alchemist, Mountain King still being an option. But we already have in the middle of the map another farm right next to the tavern. And Todd actually is currently supply blocked. So he needs to wait a little bit until the next farm is in play takes down a couple of his footmen himself. So he's trying to open up some supply so he can still stay in the, the no upkeep. 51 for him right now, so he needs to take down a peasant if he really wants to go uh, down and takes down another footman. Mountain King comes in second. Very likely that we're gonna see those boots being passed over later on from the Archmage onto the Mountain King so that he can be more threatening to the undead heroes, trying to close distance, get Stormbolts in, trying to also kite a little bit better when he moves to that front line. But Night End now with statues in play and with the Orb of Corruption has a bit more map control that he gets. So his whole idea here is really just like take the experience again, try and get those undead heroes onto a high enough level so that the nuke becomes relevant. And he gets another Claw of Attack. So using that marketplace over and over to buy Claws of Attack, Gloves of Haste, trying to make sure that he has a massive amount of auto attack damage on that Lich. Plus 23 at that moment in time. And in his own main base, 
adding the Crypt Lord now as well. Now from under it, you see two strategies basically when it comes to the uh, third hero against human. You can either go for a Dark Ranger and heavily play around Silence, or you can go for the Crypt Lord. And Crypt Lord in particular, once you get a couple of additional levels and you are able to have your Impale and the stun that comes with it on a higher level, it's absolutely fantastic against Rifleman in particular. If you position him well, get a good angle, get those stuns, and it's great to just get that first impale and uh, follow it up with a Nova, massive damage output, and all those units stunned and you easily take down. Whereas a Dark Ranger is more so trying to uh, focus on the silence so that at crucial times you are able to take down your opponent's heroes, that you are, for example, denying the uh, the heal if there's a paladin coming in as a third hero if the human player makes it into a castle tech so that you deny the heal whenever you're trying to focus on the hero you can deny stormbolt with it and of course you also have those additional summons that come with a dark ranger that can oftentimes just overwhelm an opponent especially if there's a lack on priests and the spell if you're going up against human plus one attack upgrade now for the rifleman todd is sitting at 68 supply for the time being 47 for his opponent Already down here, by the way, taught with another oh, scouting farm, and that allows him, of course, to also have a bit of an eye on what's going on at that expansion. Now the creep pattern leads now to uh, the spot where he's trying to, of course, see if he can maybe grab a Tomb of Experience. It's not quite the case. He didn't get that. Actually, I think he got one, didn't he? Didn't really catch it, but Lich on level 3 right now, Death Knight on 3 as well. I'm not 100% certain about it, but there's definitely a chance that Lich hit level 3 very, very quickly here. Heinz even a circle of mobility goes in again. Pendant of energy, nice. That is another great item. Has the Crypt Lord now uh, currently with the Parry of Vitality and the Pendant of Energy, so might pass one over to the Lich eventually and maybe drop that circle here. Gonna find that out soon enough. 55 supply for Night and Night now, whereas Todd is trying to go into a caster and priest setup. Now, long term, he is going to try and make it into the castle attack, add a couple of knights to uh, his army here, and of course the third hero as well. But for the time being, he needs to be careful because he knows that there is no expansion. The scouting farm gets taken down, but he knows there's no expansion, and as long as Nighten isn't expanding, it's very likely that Nighten is going to make an aggressive push. So Todd investing a lot of the resources that he has to increase his current army size so that he can meet that push, and also trying to make sure that he has items to counteract it. So we're having that Mountain King with a scroll of healing, the Archmage has one as well, Potion of Mana, Potion of Lesser Invulnerability, investing a lot of that gold into items to make sure that that push is not outright going to kill him. Which is definitely going to be the idea of Night End here in this setup. Massive amount on that Lich. Has actually sold the circlet. No, passed the circlet over to the Death Knight, but still keeping the items Potion of Greater Healing and the Pendant of Energy plus the Power of Vitality on the Crypt Lord. It's actually pretty strong for him because the Crypt Lord is going to be at the front line. So he wants to keep the Death Knight a little bit farther back, get those coils then through to keep the Crypt Lord alive, and the extra energy, the extra mana on the Crypt Lord is going to allow him to get additional impales through. 71 supply for Night End, and 76 for Todd right now. So with the knowledge that there's nothing down here, we even see a double scout tower being built. So basically what Todd is currently trying to do is to make sure that any acolyte that gets set down is immediately getting sniped, and he can buy himself a bit of time with this. Now he sees the attack coming because of the scout farm, has for now also plus two attack upgrades on his rifleman and is heading to the shop again, trying to just set everything up. The more he can delay this attack, the better for him. He wants to delay the fight for as long as he possibly can to get additional upgrades out, get additional units in and additional items. Time is working in Todd's favor, and he knows it too. Naiden currently has in his own base 5,000 gold left. He's getting abominations that he's you know, trying to send up to that front line. And of course, once those get into the back line, once those are trying to attack immediately the rifleman, it's going to be absolutely fantastic for him. More riflemen as we speak, plus one armor upgrade for them now as well. So Todd continues the upgrading here, but still no tech into the castle. Ha investing all the resources to be saved. And he has a lot of control over the map right now. The Archmage is level 4, 2 scrolls of healing, Mountain King level 3, 1 scroll. We're having the Lich on level 3, massive damage output, focusing on the altar right now, Death Knight on 3, so Coil Nova at least on 2, and the Crypt Lord on 3 as well. So all the important spells on the Undead side right now, at least on level 2. The Impale in particular is going to be crucial, trying to find that angle. And at this point in time, a massive amount of abominations at the front as well. 
So Naiden is still waiting. Naiden is still on 80 supply and he's actually getting right now also a backpack which is going to allow him to bring items over from units alone. So backpack is unlocking inventory slots too as we can see here now on the units. So the reinforcements are going to be able to bring items over as Naiden is starting to make his attack. He's starting to push in trying to take this down and already taught attacking slightly here, uh, slowly attempting to push his opponent back. 80 supply for Tot now. Has the item count? No tech into tier 3 yet. Adding a couple of additional towers here to keep especially the peasant line alive and even a few farms being built. And Night Elf just looking for the angle. With this many abombs, heavily focused on abominations right now. He's also in a position where they are very likely to block each other during these fights. So he needs to try and make sure that he doesn't fight in the choke point. Pathing in Warcraft 3 is, I mean, let's call it special <laughs> for our purpose here. So if you are running with those into a choke point, you are in trouble. Trying to come in from behind here and immediately with the attack. Mountain King needs to be careful. Starts with a clap and there comes the follow-up. Clap for the slow and then right away the Blizzard being used. Early potion of inavailability already used here for the Mountain King. That is going to be a focus and Naiden is coiling his abominations to make sure that they're staying safe for now. Again, there comes the Blizzard. Here comes the clap. Mountain King rather low. He uses the potion of healing and has to rush away now. That boots of speed is definitely coming in helpful. But here comes the disease cloud. Most of the abominations already Low. Massive problem right now for Knight. I need to try and keep those alive. But here comes the Impale. And that Crypt Lord Impale is doing so much here. Forcing even the Art Mage now back as he's extremely low. No scroll of healing just used by him. Still on cooldown as he used the initial one already earlier. And moves back for now. Mountain King at the expansion. Exactly where Todd portal right now. Trying to heal everything up before he moves back in. A lot of those Abominations already down. Todd at 70 supply against the 75 that we are seeing for Knight. And who is still fighting to try and push his opponent back, drop the Arcane Sanctum and therefore also limit the amount of tech that Todd has in the game. And Todd moving in again, that MK on level 3 still, Archmage not getting too much experience here either, immediately the Coil, immediately the Impale, the Mountain King low, not having a lot of potions here, and the Focus Fire onto the Abominations, trying to drop 1, trying to drop 2, the, the claps the entire time, clap into the Blizzard, and that drops one Fiend, drops a second, one Abom down as well, and Knight and has to move out. Disease Cloud, of course, an issue as well. Todd sacrificing a ton of items in this fight. Three Scroll of Healings being used, one Scroll of Town Portal 2, and the Potions of Lesser Invulnerability that he had in the inventory. Trying to immediately access the shop again to replenish that. First of all, of course, down here at the Arcane Wall, but very likely also to maybe send something over towards the left side of the map and see if he can get a couple of additional items here too. Nightend moving back, and I mean for Nightend right now, he's currently sitting at still 75 supply against the 67 of Todd. So a highly successful attack for him, but he's starting to run out on gold here. We have the Death Knight, Crypt Lord, and Lich all still on level 3. Not a single one of them has crossed over into level 4, and he needs to get those hit points back up, which is exactly what he does. If Todd can get his heroes to a higher level, especially that Archmage on level 5 would be great. Invisibility already casted, Scroll of Healing, he has still the mining from two bases, but of course there's the second one. Two Scrolls of Healing, getting all that in right now. Has a level 4, level 5 would be Blizzard on 3, that would be fantastic for him. That Mountain King, Potion of Less Animal Ability, yep, that's exactly what he gets. Great item for him. Again, the MK wants to be in the middle of the army, he wants to get that clap through. Have that slow so that it's way more difficult for the Undead to micro his units away from the Blizzard damage. And Naiden doesn't really have any kind of area heal outside of the statues, he doesn't have Scrolls of Healing. The Crypt Lord, still with a Potion of Greater Healing here though. 73 supply for Knight and Tot sitting at 70 now and still waiting for his opponent. But tier 3 units against tier 2. The Arc Mage, of course, a bit vulnerable at this point. Casting invisibility is going to be huge already on the Mountain King and on the Arc Mage here, trying to angle for a good position. But he's going to be in a tough spot if that Arc Mage at any point is going to be focused. So once again, moving in, Arc Mage, immediately the Blizzard interrupted by the first Impale. 
Mountain King with a clap attempt here. First healing already used. Scroll of healing from the Archmage. And again, Blizzard, Blizzard, and Blizzard into that backline. The Fiend nearly down. The Abomination is getting focused as we speak, but the call comes through for the quick heal here. Second Scroll of healing being used by Todd from the Mountain King. Blizzard again and interrupted through the Impale as the Crypt Lord is shutting the Archmage down right away. Disease Cloud doing work, but once again, the AoE damage from the human player combined with the focus fire from the Rifleman starting to drop those Abominations low. The coils coming through as available from the Death Knight. The Death Knight nearly level 4 right now. Todd already kiting back. Knighting that 67 supply against a 68. But a lot of damage now pushed in. And the human player is losing unit after unit. Crypt Lord level 4. Death Knight level 4. Lich also getting onto the next level. He has another clap. The Mountain King starts dropping some of those Abominations at least. He's trying to focus them down. The Mountain King has not hit level 4 just yet. But the Archmage is level 5 and the Mountain King leveling up now as well. But the army down to 41 supply for Todd, 47 for Knight and Knight and trying to break through here. Another Abomination down. All of the heroes are starting to drop low as well. The Mountain King though is about to fall here. Another hit, another attempt to keep him alive, but he goes down. The coil saving the Liches. The Archmage is trying to close the distance. 51 supply for Knight and 36 for Todd as he forces the retreat of Knight and at least for the time being. But the Undead player definitely in a commanding position right now, trying to chase him back here, using another Nova to lock down those riflemen, slow him down. But the choke point used by Todd immediately to drop another Blizzard onto the Undead army and the Abomination dropping rather low here. One Augur Mauler already bought as Todd is accessing now the Mercenary Camp as well, retreating into the safety of the towers that he has at his expansion, and still no expansion for Night End. The main base gold mine nearly down, 880 gold for him for the time being. Todd trying to get more units in, healing the units that he has. Five and a half Archmage, and still we are seeing those statues in the backline of Night End's army, healing him up, getting him the additional mana, more Rifleman, being produced as Knight and is starting to move in and he does have another altar in the back line. Mountain King halfway done but Todd already attempted to save his production structures for as long as he can. Lich looking healthy, nearly level 5 for him. So do the other heroes, nearly have the additional level in Coil Nova on 3 would be a nightmare for Todd at this point in time. 57 supply for Knight and 42 for Todd. And Todd is moving into the middle of the map, actually, at this point. Reinforcements on the way, and it looks like Todd is going to try and intercept that if he can, or at least come in from a different angle against the, against the undead player here. Another rifleman out, and immediately getting microed here. Here comes the rest of the human army. Reinforcements again on the way for Night and is forced back here for now. That Blizzard on level 3 definitely hurts. Mountain King already about to be back in the game and the gold mine still low. Night and is about to lose all the income that he has. And Todd is still mining. He still has gold. 2,300 in the gold mine at the bottom right. Still has 1,800 up here to the top right. A lot of resources for him if he can delay the game. Back to 48 supply for the human player. 63 for Night End. And he has no this moment in time. Trying to go in. Coil Nova. Bam. One priest down. Heavily relying on those uh, statues. Replenishing the mana continuously. Not a lot of items left. No consumables here. No town portal. No potion of healing. No potion of mana. All just relying on the damage output they has through the heroes, the statues, and everything else. More acolytes even being sent over to the right here as Todd is now trying to defend his main base. Todd still down in supply by 12. But here comes the damage. Trying to snipe another abomination. Death Knight could coil, could send it through. Doesn't do it yet. He's low in mana. He needs to be careful. What do you sacrifice? Do you sacrifice an abomination or do you risk that you are out of mana once that your hero gets targeted? And he uses the coil. Still on level 4. Down here, night end, just double checking. Can I expand? But nope. The double turret here, fantastic right now. Mountain King, again, invisible. Todd, 55 supply for him. Night end, 63 right now. Trying to move in again. Time working in Todd's favor right now. But it's a big army that he's up against. 63 supply against 55. And here comes Todd once more. Trying to see if he can kill a few more units. If he can get rid of the statues. That would be absolutely huge, and he continues to produce units. Todd is up to 55 supply once more. Another sorceress on the mix, trying to go for the abomination, and that's the kill right there. One abom down, trying to go for the second. Has another Stormbolt available, could go for it. And the coil comes through, Stormbolt. 
not quite, and Todd moving out. 57 supply against 58. Todd moving away from his base right now. Not quite forced to take that fight just yet, but goes for the Abomination again. About to take it down. Mountain King a little bit far out here, immediately getting the call Nova treatment, and moves away just in time. But Todd still pushing out here. 60 supply for him right now against the 54. He has income. Knight and does not, and Knight and wants to bait him into a fight outside of the main base right now. And Todd follows. Level 5 death. Knight call Nova on the Mountain King, and he goes down. The Lich hits level 5. Todd down to 48 supply against the 46 of Knight, and gets another quick. Archmage Blizzard do with a bit more damage, but every single unit that Todd has is low and he moves away from it. Knight and still without income, but he goes in, takes one rifle down to the Impale, just worth so much here. Hashtag value as the Crypt Lord hits level 5 as well. Another Nova into the backline, dro Todd dropping down to 37 supply against 45. Knight and gets the fight he wants and now is able to rely on heroes on a much, much higher level. That Coil Nova with level 3 is just a bit too much. Already the Nova hitting hard against the Art Mage. The Lich following through. Body blocked here. The Coil comes in and this is it. This has to be a GG as the game is over. Todd leaving the game and Knight and Victorious on Echo Isles.